Hey everybody, it's Paul with Reporting Live from my sofa. How's it going today? I am still in vacation land from vacation land at the beach. And you can see the sun is shining. Actually, the wind is blowing so hard, but it calmed down right now. So you'll have to pardon me if it kicks up. Uh, but it looks like we kind of made it out of the hurricane. We did here for sure. I think power's still out where we're at at the beach. Uh, the tornado touched down really close to where we're at, but we don't know if there's damage to our, we know where we live over there. So we'll find that out soon. But we are here to talk about another tornado, and that is the Photos Dulos Michelle Traconis tornado. Y'all, I've been doing these news updates and stuff and like doing other news, but at this point I was like, just do another video dedicated to these two because they just can't. I mean, it just never ends, y'all. It never ends. And I don't think this is going to end until arrest warrants are put out for murder charges for the two of those. So, you know, the last video we talked about Fotos, we'll touch on him a little bit, but today we're here to talk about Michelle. So, you know, she was rearrested. She turned herself back in. Same charges, tampering with evidence. Today's Friday that I'm filming this, so that was Thursday that she did that. So in this, you know, Michelle admitted to helping photos clean up a truck, but she claims that she thought that they were, like, cleaning up a coffee spill, basically. And she said that on the afternoon of Jennifer's disappearance on May 24th, uh, that photos Dulles was cleaning the, the truck, and he told her that it was coffee. And this is that red pickup truck that belonged to one of the employees. And so he's like, oh, I'm cleaning up coffee from this and you know he handed her like an alleged stained rag with coffee for her to put in a garbage bag and you know but she's like oh I don't remember what color the stain was so and she says but it didn't smell like coffee there's a whole bunch of that with her you know oh well I forgot this and well I'm not sure about this but I remember this and it's all shady from one side down up the next you know at this point now she did like i said she did surrender herself and she left a hundred thousand dollar bond she didn't say anything obviously so now the arrest warrants that went out they basically revealed kind of what cops have been saying the whole time you know they think that photos was basically laying in wait for his wife for his ex-wife jennifer and you know attacked and killed her now photos was released yesterday in a five hundred thousand dollar bond so they're both due back in court in a couple of weeks here in september i mean the charges are just stacking up so much against them now michelle I i'm not sure about photos i don't know how he still has money or where it's coming from i think overseas somewhere uh but michelle she has you know they can sit here and charge as long as she's got bail she can get out so, you know, she's, her mom's got money, she's got money, so that's not a big deal for her. But like I said, more and more information is coming out now to where we're seeing, you know, she's playing dumb, like, oh, we cleaned up coffee and we did this, but they made these alibis up. They had a little cheat sheet for alibis. She helped cover up. So I'm not buying her story at all. I think she knows exactly what she was doing. I think she helped him do everything. I think that they probably got pretty tricky, if you will, in their minds of making these notes of, well, we did this and we did that and we did this and we did that. And so she's trying to essentially stick to this and being like, okay, well, no, we did this, but it's falling apart. And so something's going to happen where I personally think she'll talk first because she already kind of has. But at some point... Someone's gonna have to come up and say, "Yeah, this is what happened. He killed her. You know, this is this is what he said." So we could have another like Frozzy situation going on here. We'll have to see. So that's it. I just wanted to do a standalone video for her, so I don't take up a bunch of time talking about other stuff because they are just a case to their own. So, anyways, I hope everybody's doing wonderful. I hope everybody did well through the storm. And thanks for hanging out. Be sure and check out my website. It has a lot more stuff there. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.